to Dead Man Talking. Tonight's story, guys, is uh, an update again to our Kentucky Dogman near the Bell City Swamp area, um, sent over by my subscriber and friend who wishes to remain anonymous. Um, guys, since we first covered uh, the first story from my subscriber involving his hunting dogs, his coon hounds, um, and particularly his blue tick that uh, actually got eaten by the dog man, unfortunately. Um, there's been so much activity um, sent over to me. I mean, the first episode that I put out regarding the, uh, the hunting dog episode, I had five other stories come in just from Kentucky alone. Um, and since then I've had about another five more. Some of them do want to be shared, some of them don't. Um, but just shows the level of activity in this area. Now, also you may remember recently we had an update regarding an 1800 pound horse that was uh, run from its paddock through two fences and a barbed wire, uh, sorry, two barbed wire fences and electric fence as well. And we then was tracked by my subscriber and a couple of people three miles into deep, deep woods. Uh, talking the type of woods that no person ever ever walks into because it's literally pretty much impossible to get your way through there um, In a normal amount of time uh, That was an absolute mess um, As my friend told me there was a lot of blood everywhere and again only half of the horse was found Only the back legs and half of the body the head front legs and the front of the torso completely missing an 1800 pound animal um, Again, my friend did say that he suspected there was two dogmen involved in that attack, uh, given the size of prints that were left around that scene being different sizes. Um, pretty, pretty confident to say yes to that as well. Well, a couple of nights ago, unfortunately, my subscriber and friend got in touch um, to let me know that there was an attack that happened. It was actually about a week ago now. Um, very, very sad news to hear. There was a, a an old guy that uh, regularly did jogging in the area, um, sometimes early in the morning, sometimes in the early afternoon. Um, unfortunately, a week ago, this man decided to take a jogging trip at early morning hours, and he was savagely attacked. Um, and found in a, in a very bad state. Uh, now, since then, um, my subscriber has gone to visit the man in hospital who was fighting for his life from the injury sustained. Uh, apparently, it appears to look like the DM has literally tried to remove his legs. Um, very, very sad news on top of that, guys. In the last 48 hours, um, I received news that the old man actually did pass away from his injuries. Now, of course, the police, the local police and uh, and warden, game wardens are, you know, shush shushing this and trying to cover it up and uh, are publicly, publicly saying it's just a dog attack, a pack of wild dogs. Um, also, it's worth noting, uh, especially I think, that my subscriber spoke with the man's son and apparently the man's in exact words where I was attacked by a four and a half foot tall werewolf whilst a larger creature was in the brush watching. So to me, and, uh, and my subscriber also agrees, I think that sounds like a pup that maybe got a bit too bloodthirsty um, whilst the mother or father was watching. Um, terribly sad again, but this is what happens I'm afraid. And uh, it's a shame that it's all covered up and swept under the carpet. We are literally working to try and get a police report and a vet report because a local vet uh, said that the, the injuries sustained are far beyond what a normal domestic canine could produce uh, on, a home, uh, on a human torso. Um, so again, very sad, very worrying. Uh, I've asked my subscriber if he'd please stay out of the uh, the woods to which he told me, don't you worry, that's the last thing I've got on my mind. Um, last night though guys, he was uh, at the farm 
with the regards to the farmer who lost his horse uh, doing some work for the farmer in his barn some renovation work um, obviously he's very nervous he's had his own encounters two times with a dog man one involving taking his prized dog um, so he's well aware of the dangers and the capabilities of these creatures and to go back to the farm to help out the old man was you know very admirable of him to do that and also very brave some might say stupid but you can guess it guys whilst there he had another encounter so without further ado let's get into tonight's update story on the Kentucky Bell City Dogman Without further ado, let's get straight into that. Hey DMT, I was working on the old man's farm up in his barn, up in the loft, and it was well before daylight when I arrived and went straight into work. Patching up the loft floor, the old man had handed me his four bore elephant gun and said, you might need to take old Betsy here, she will watch your back. Well, anyways, I took the old gun and a whole sling worth of shells. I climbed up the loft and turned on my four lanterns and went straight to work. It was getting close to light so I opened both ends of the loft and when the sun came up around 6am the wind was blowing out of the south and that's when the smell hit me. And I thought, oh shit, where is it? I smell it, but I don't see it. So I picked up the gun and I hid behind the frame of the south entrance and aimed that heavy son of a bitch double barrel gun out of the opening. That's when I saw the first bit of movement. It was a buck running full speed with its belly barely off the ground. It was so low and that means it's running for its life. About five minutes later DMT, that when, is when I heard the crashing from behind the buck running through the woods like a damn bull elephant and then it slowed when it reached the edge of the woods and that's when it stepped into the view it seemed to be a female as I saw no male anatomy on it it moved very nervously and carefully into the edge where it was sniffing the air trying to pick up the buck scent I guess or hell it may have winded me I ain't sure all I was thinking was, if you get within five yards of this building, I'm unloading this gun into you. Now, a side note here, I want people to understand, that this gun is a fucking monster. The total weight unloaded of this gun is 24 pounds, and loaded, it weighs in at 26.5. Now, the bullet weight is 1750 grains, and is a huge ass shell. It kept moving down the tree line and moved well out of sight. When, when it was gone, I got the fuck out of there and I ran to the old man's house. When I got there, he said you were white as a ghost. You saw it, didn't you? I told him the whole story and he sent me home. Wow. Just a short update there, guys, but uh, this is something that happens with uh, the DM world. A lot of these truthful encounters um, and a good tip for if you're trying to suss out if an encounter is true or not, they are very brief. They're, they're, uh, they're not sort of a 40 minute long to hours and hours long ordeal. Most of these encounters last seconds, but can feel like hours. Thank you again ever so much to my friend for sending that back over to me, uh, keeping me up to date and in the loop with the local area. Again, terrible news and uh, best wishes to the man's family and hopefully we can find some justice at some point. Um, do let us know what you thought down below guys. Of course if you have a story yourself, whether it be fictional or a truthful encounter of any type, please do send it over to deadmantalking666 at gmail.com. I would love to listen to that and possibly feature it on the show or just hear it myself. Have a fantastic Sunday guys and remember, above all, be safe, not Sorry.